Hedley Finn, OBE, it's uh, it's great to have you with us today. The purpose for uh, this this short vodcast is is communication in the new norm, whatever the new norm looks like. Yeah. Uh, and we couldn't have a better person, to be honest, with your role as president of Radio Lollipop International, uh, but also your professional background working with hundreds of professional organizations, commercial organizations, your work with the NHS, uh, and of course your work in the third sector uh, is unsurpassed. Um, this time last year, none of us had any idea what we were heading into, what 2020 had in store. We're really keen to explore internal comms really for this video um because you communicate i think you communicate with at least if we take radio lollipop a thousand volunteers plus in in sort of nine different time zones you know five different countries and so on uh, what have we learned from this year what, what should we rip up the rule book everything that we knew about comms start it's, again it's, what's the story it's, re it's really interesting gary because um you know having spent most of my career doing comms i think we you know comms internal comms particularly has always been a kind of poor cousin to the the glitzy external pr comms to to the stuff that uh, that sells the company because our our internally comms is about is about is about the staff and making sure people are on message making sure people understand the company's mission it's the softer side and actually there's been i think a huge switch in understanding through COVID in the fact that internal comms has become a vital, a vital tool in the, in the armory of actually trying to keep teams, organizations, companies, corporations together on message, show leadership and try and bring people to a place where they've got some, some resilience, some understanding of what's going on in the organization. I mean, we've never faced, I've never in all of my life experienced such uncertainty from day to day, week to week and month to month. We still don't know what the other end of this pandemic looks like, although we've had lots of major stopping off points on the way when we've locked down, when we've had a, a vaccine announcements. But every day, every day, something else is coming up and, and, and actually whacking us. And, and I think that the internal comms and holding organizations together, being able to talk to your teams and, and getting them to work in a collegiate fashion in the most unusual circumstances, internal comms is absolutely vital and using that word vital um how vital is creativity in internal communication now i mean you come from a very you know creative background with the work that you've done previously but do we need to think differently and act differently in the way that we're communicating yeah i think we do and i think you know i think for me gary the the, the, the big one of the big words of, of of this pandemic has been agile we've got to to move fast. I mean, certainly with my Radio Lollipop team, the minute we went into lockdown, <clears throat> and if you remember, we actually went into lockdown pretty much around the world at the same time in Australia, New Zealand, and, and America was slow to go, but certainly the UK. Um, we made the decision very quickly that, that, that having such a dramatic change in personal circumstance and work circumstance for all our one and a half thousand people meant that we suddenly had to be on the front foot and talking to them telling them what we expected of them, giving them channels for communication, reassuring them that actually we would still be there, we would still carry on meeting mission, we would still carry on supporting our kids in hospital and working out with them in a collegiate fashion how we would do that. So for me, comms was very much internal and it was about how we as an organisation carried on with the next step and the next step and how we worked taking the best of our teams and actually putting the best ideas forward. And what's been phenomenal are the number of people that have stepped up and kind of gone, well, we can do this, we can do that. Why don't we do this? People have become more engaged internally through this pandemic than at any other time on any other project I've ever worked on. How crucial is continuity in all this? Because I asked the question, because I, I know some companies that started off with a, with a bang, if you like, in terms of upping what they do for their internal comms at the start of the pandemic. And then it petered off slightly as we thought we were getting through the year. And then, of course, in Great Britain, we had a second spike. Yeah. Um, and so continuity faded a little bit. How important is continuity as we go on this communication journey? 
I think continuity for me, Gary, is about leadership. It's about actually solid, reliable leadership. It's about starting a drumbeat that the team can actually work to and then not letting go. So don't set the bar too high to start with, but actually make sure that you can be resilient in what you're providing. Especially when we've got such uncertain times, people come to rely on messaging and internal comms. If you're going to do something weekly, do it weekly. Same time, every week, make sure the messaging is the same. It doesn't have to be as big. You can make it bigger, smaller. You can change topics, but be there, be reliable. Um, and if you're going to do it daily, do it daily. But, but the most important part of internal comms when you set something like that up is to be there on time every day. And we, we, we started a newsletter, which we put out to all of our teams around the world. And we used to sit there as the comms team and we would count the seconds to the top of the hour when it used to go out at the weekend and we would hit that button and the team would celebrate. We got another one out on time to the moment. And everybody around the world received it at the same time. And people in Australia were waking up expecting to see it. People in South Africa were kind of going, great, that came in on time, we read it over lunch. So, you know, You've got to be reliable. That's about good, clear leadership and giving people something, giving people something that actually they can depend on because there's so little else. And finally, uh, Headley, a vaccine, as we know, is being rolled out across uh, the UK, across the world. It's going to take some time. So realistically, uh, it could be six months, seven months before we get back to any form of norm that we were used to you know a year ago yep. um are we ever going to go back to where we were or is this type of communication the discussions that we're having now on this type of platform zoom and teams and so on is this here to stay and will it just continue and continue do you think i think that we've had a short sharp shock gary with with comms uh, around the pandemic and what we've done is suddenly learned that this this has become much more personal we're now working in people's homes you know i'm talking to people who are sitting in bedrooms they're sitting in kitchens they're sitting in their car talking to me i'm being invited into personal places we would never have been so comms has become more personal we need to be more agile we need to be as regular as we can be but we also need to understand that comms doesn't need to be the big corporate comms that used to come down the line in the memos or the newsletters we've actually got tools now to make comms much easier you know we've got comms in every pocket we've all got mobile phones we've got we've got the ability to be able to hear stuff and get stuff on whatsapp or on text or or or, or on on emails or through through messenger and actually we need to use those new tools because people aren't in the office they're they're at home and most people at home are working hard but actually we need to to meet their comms needs in a way that's good for them take your phone out your pocket a message comes in it's work as well as home we need to be quick around our comms short around our comms and work in a very different way it needs to be more personal than it's ever been before otherwise it's not going to land with the people we're talking to Headley Finn as always it's been a pleasure thank you for your time pleasure thank you Gary